guys welcome back to Java tutorial in this part of this tutorial we are going to discuss the use of an if loop with a complete example so here I am going to create an example that demonstrate the use of if loop so here I am going to create a class called if demo I declare two variables here into A and into B. Okay, now I am going to create a method called public void if demo. Okay, for in order to get the value of value for A and B, I have to create an object for, for the buffered reader. Buffer reader br is equal to new buffered reader. It is the new input stream reader. This system dot in. Okay, I just create the buffer reader object here. Okay, now within the bracket, I have to now I am going to access value for A and B. So system dot out dot print ln. Enter value for A. I just read the value for a using the buffer reader object. We are not read the line. This is an integer value, so I have to pass it into integer value. Integer. Integer dot parse int okay I just get the value of a here same same like I also want to get the value of B so I just copy these statements and paste it here it is under value for B it is also an integer value that's why I using B is equal to integer dot parse and BR dot read line ok now I just got the value for A and B now I have to check whether whether A or B is the large number using an if loop so here I just open up the if loop if A greater than B then I just print the message here system dot out dot print ln he is larger than Okay, value of A is larger than value of B. Also, I have to check the same thing for B also. If B is the large number, then also I have to get the result. So, I just change it into B. 
Okay, here B is Lord Sultan A. Okay, also one more possibility is here if both the value of A and B are the same. Also, I check the condition also here. Value of A and B are same, then A and B are same. Okay. Uh, now I have to create the main method to invoke this method. So here I am going to create the main method public static void main. String ARGS. Here is the opening bracket of the main method. I just close it here. Okay, now I am going to create an object of the class if demo. So here I am going to create an object of if demo. If demo demo is equal to new if demo. Okay, now I am going to access the method called uh, if demo by using this object called to demo demo dot if demo okay now I just invoke the method called if demo so here I am using the buffer reader so I have to import a package here import java dot io dot star okay now I am going to save the program in D drive of my computer in D drive there is a folder called the Java program I just save it with the name if demo dot Java using all file I save it in D drive of my computer. Now I am going to compile the program Java C if demo dot Java. There is some errors are present here. The demo dot if demo. Okay, here is some errors are present here. It is uh, demo dot if demo. I have to check. Okay, the uh, there is some here instead of f. It is uh, d is present here. I change it again. I save the program and again I am going to compile it. Okay, there are some more exceptions are here. I have to call this exception because we using the <coughs> buffer reader object using the read line method so I have to throw the exception here throws io exception so I have to catch the exception here so I just insert this block into a try catch block exception e okay again I'm going to save the program I just save it again I'm going to compile it okay now you can see that the program is successfully compiled now I'm going to run the program Java if demo uh, enter value for A, I just give it as 3. Enter value for B, I just give it as 4. 4 is greater than 3. Again, I run it. I enter value for A, 8. Enter value for B, 6. Uh, 8 is larger than 6. 
uh, again I run the program enter value for a 3 and the value for b 3 3 and 3 are same okay uh, also take a closer look for of the program I just create a class called if demo I just create two variables a and b here here is the buffer reader object br I just create a method called if demo and inside that method I just call the value for I just get the value for a and b I check the value of a and b here if a greater than b this message will appear if b is greater than a this message will appear or if the both a and b are same then this statement this statement will execute here is the main method in main method I just create an object of this class if demo the object name is demo by using the object I just call the method if demo okay guys uh, thank you for watching uh, in the next part we are also uh, we are continuing with what, the, what is an if else loop what is the use of an if else loop and what is the syntax of an if else loop in Java thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial